Chris came to me afterwards with uh, the script for following and said, look, I want you to play the lead in this. I'd kind of sort of like written it with you in mind and uh, and would you help me produce it as well? And by that, you know, it's, it was, uh, do you have access to uh, locations? Can we use your flat? Have you got friends who are actors who might want to give up a year of their time to be able to do this? Uh, and yeah, I mean, the story of following has been, it's pretty well told. It was made for six thousand uh, dollars. We filmed it uh, on one day a week on Saturdays for almost a year, uh, and um, and then it, it it kind of took off from there when it went to the San Francisco Film Festival, um, in which I literally carried the uh, the, the prints over uh, on the plane with me, and. Um, from there, it got bought by Next Wave Films, blown up to 35 mil and taken to Toronto uh, Film Festival, and it got sold there for distribution in the US and, uh, and in Europe. And, and that was, yeah, kind of the start of, of Chris's career, which was, uh, uh, as we all know now, has been rather successful. <laughs> wow. Rather. <laughs> and I just want to be clear, did you say his first budget ever was $6,000? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was six thousand dollars. So, so no one got paid uh, at the time, and we had we borrowed equipment from the film society at UCL, uh, and and Chris bought one roll of black and white sixteen millimeter film a week uh, and processed it uh, and telecined it onto DigiBeta, and then you know put together a sort of like a rough cut each week. Looked at the rushes saw what we needed to do, what we needed to cover, uh, and then eventually put it all together on uh, on DigiBeta as a, as, a, as a final edit, um, and then outputted it to VHS, sent it to film festivals when, you know, there was no film freeway in those days. <laughs> uh, and, um, yeah, and that's when we then had to, when it was accepted, we then had to go back and do the neg cut and, and do prints, and that cost another like $4,000 or something like that. So then we had to raise some more money. Um, so yeah, the only thing that we spent money on was, was the film and uh, some, some cheese and some bread for, for catering. <laughs> and it's it's now recognized as part of the Criterion Collection, correct? Uh, yeah, it's on DVD. Um, it came out on the Criterion Collection in, uh, on DVD in the US, uh, and they did a, um, uh, a special timed version where the uh, where it's, they actually re-edit it and put it together in chronological order uh, and I think that there's, uh, there's an interview with Chris on that as well I'm talking about how we made it uh, I think it's on I think it's on Amazon and on iTunes in the US uh, as well available for purchase and download. Yeah I saw with the um, if you have the uh, yeah the IFC movie pass you can watch it on Amazon Prime so definitely check it out. We, we made it with what we had that was available. So it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was six thousand dollars. It was incredibly small cast. Uh, we had, you know, one camera that was the sixteen mil. Uh, we did it in black and white because we didn't really have that many lights or any lights to be able to do it. We used a, a lot of natural light. So the the film noir sort of style uh, of thriller really worked. Um, with that, things like uh, when you're doing really low budget stuff, it's really difficult to uh, make guns look realistic uh, because they are always filmed in at the end. Every time you point one or wave one around, it looks like it's plastic. It doesn't look real. They don't make the right sort of sound. You don't get the sort of right reaction when you want to go when they go off. Mm-hmm. So use something else. So 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 Chris uses a hammer. Uh, for the main weapon uh, in, in following um, because that's readily available and it's cheap and you can make a rubber one that looks, uh, you know, really realistic. Sure. Um, and it's, it's, so those things are about working with what you have available. Um, it's, about, it's about making films. Filmmakers make films. They go out and they make films with whatever they can. Yeah. Uh, and you don't have to wait for you know funding to come along to be able to get your two million dollar project off off the ground. You know, mm-hmm. we made a film for six thousand dollars and it got bought and it got distributed. Yes, times are different now. Uh, you know, we were particularly lucky to 
to be arriving in the time of uh, guerrilla filmmaking of El Mariachi and Blair Witch Project and stuff like that, but it is still possible to get to get your stuff seen. That's the trailer.